All right, what's good, YouTube? Gentlemen, Tom here, back with another video on the channel. And today we have a CDLA Week Six team builder before the match. Today we the Comhenga LA is going up against the Portland Porygons, and I don't know, I don't know why the logo is like this. Like it's fine, people can have the logo they want, but it's just <laughs> like the, the team name isn't on there. But this is what was the logo I was provided with, so you know I'm just gonna use it. But yeah, we're going up against the Portland Porygons, coached by King Cable, and um, I don't think we've ever played before. I don't even know really how they play, like what's the what's their preferred way to play, like have offense, defensive, whatnot, but I, I do know they have a pretty goddamn annoying team when it comes to like the defensive core. It's so annoying to deal with. Um and the team consists of uh, Deoxys, Rome Wash, Colvinite, Vigavol, Ginga, Umbreon, Mega Altaria, Teragian, Empoleon, and Claydol. So a couple of double typings in Rotom and Empoleon and Vigavolt Rotom and then Colvinite Empoleon, but I don't think it's the worst because Rotom and Empoleon doesn't share any weaknesses. Rotom has levitate for the ground types, and Empoleon isn't weak to grass, and Rotom isn't weak to electric, and Vigavolt also, in the same regards, is weak to fire, but Rotom resists to fire, and and Vigavolt resist is really good against grass types, but Rotom is weak too. And with Corviknight and Empoleon, there's a little bit of an overlap because both are weak to electric, but Vigavolt does kind of handle that pretty well. And like Claydol isn't the worst ground type ever. Like it's it's decent. I don't, I'm not saying it's great, but it's, but it's it's fine. I think. And Altaria also after it Mega Evolves is a pretty semi decent um, electric switch as well. So I think they're gonna bring like Deoxys, Rotom, Corviknight, Vigavol, Gengar, Blank, probably Tragion, maybe Altaria. One of the other five might also not come. And so like I, I don't think. Claydol is coming. I don't think Empoleon is coming. I think between uh, Corviknight, Empoleon, and Rotom Empoleon, I think the Rotom Corviknight is just straight up better yeah, against my team specifically. Like Empoleon is good for like Diancy. We do have uh, we do it does get Earth Power Diancy. So it's not the greatest. Other than that, like I think it's a bit of a toss up. Um, I just realized they, they may have Sticky Webs, which could be pretty annoying because I actually didn't prep for Sticky Webs at all. Oof. They have Sticky Webs. Big of all, we might just lose. <laughs> um yeah the deoxys by the way i cannot handle the deoxys defensively so we get we're going with like an aggressive strategy because i've been lucky with doing aggressive strategies lately so that's why i'm gonna try and do that again uh with this with this week and see if we can just win before we lose basically it's kind of a, a weird way to say it and i guess we might as well just jump into team while we're on it so first off we have queen the Feramosa with choice band beast boost u-turn triple axel throw chum close combat 8 HP, 2v2, and attack, and 248 in speed with a jungle nature. So I know Deoxys can get extreme speed, I know that now. But I still think speed creeping the Deoxys in case he's not extreme speed is for the better uh, for our team. And also just close combat kind of goes in in some scenarios. Vigabolt is not there. Um, I can click close combat because I don't think he's swapping to a Gengar on our Pheromosa. I think it's very risky. When he sees we click close combat and he knows we're locked, he swapped to it definitely. But other than that, I don't think, like, I think... Going close combat just so we can hit over a defensive Corviknight, making sure the Corviknight can't take the hit is just better. U-turn, should you bring Claydol is really good. Triple Axel hits like the Altaria, it hits a lot of the mons. Throat is just there, like, you know, as the extra move, it hits Gengar, even though Triple Axel would kill Gengar, but that's more risky, so Throat Chub is just, you know, the safe play. But yeah, Formosa is just here to do a lot of damage, come in, pivot out, come in, pivot out. If he has, as I mentioned, if he has uh, webs, that might actually be an issue, I just realized that. Next up, we have Titania, the Mega Diancy with Diancy and Mega, uh, Magic Bounce, Moonblast, Earth Power, Magic, uh, Mystical Fire, and Stealth Rock. 252 two, two in Space Attack, 252 two in Speed with Timid Nature, just to speed tie with the Gengar. I don't need the. Um, well, I could use the Bolt, but I think if we can win a speed tie against the Gengar, that's actually very much the advantage. Plus, I was always, already gonna speed creep the Terrakion, so I might as well just put a little bit of extra in speed to speed tie with the Gengar. You know, I, that amount of bulk difference isn't that much, you know. And with Moonblast, Earth Power, Mystical Thought, we should be able to hit the entirety of our opponent's team. Um, I don't think there's any Mon that like straight up just walls us because, because we can like Moonblast, uh, Rotom, Mystical Fire, Corviknight, Mystical Fire, the Vigavolt, um, Earth Power, Gengar, Moonblast, Umbreon, Moonblast, Moonblast, Earth Power. Yeah, I, th I think we we pretty pretty scratch free with like, just hitting. I had Diamond Storm originally, but I actually swapped Stealth Rock off a different Mon and put it on this Mon instead just because. I actually didn't need Diamond Storm. Like, it's better for Vigavolt, but I don't think it's needed. So, yeah, that's why we took it off. Next up, we have Stormbreaker, Deceptors with Trispec, Static, Hurricane, Heatwave, Volt Switch, and Thunderbolt, 16 HP, 2v2 in a special attack, but 196, 196 speed with a modest nature. This just goes in in some scenarios. And as I mentioned, his I don't think he's bringing Claydol. If he does, it's because he's straight up scared of his Sapdos, which I can understand because dual staff from Sapdos does so much to his team. With Specs, we have a chance of 2 coing the Umbreon, which is insane. 
other than that we can just like if we, if we click thunderbolt we, we get a pretty solid hit almost every time uh, altaria would have to be mega already and be spadef in order to guarantee take the hit from uh, Zapdos. If it's not Mega, we do a lot of damage because we're neutral. Vikavol also takes decent damage. Plus, we could be carrying Heat Wave, so you have to watch out for that. Plus, Hurricane will also do a lot. This thing can just go in in the correction areas. If I guess correctly, this thing will do so much damage this game. So, I'm very excited to using an offensive Zapdos. Gonna be one of my first times, but I think I think it'll work. Next up, we have Orion, the Jirachi with Casted Berry, Serene Grace, U-Turn, uh, Iron Head, Fire Punch, and Power Punch. 116 HP, 252 in attack, 196 in speed, with Gel Nature. So, this is... Here with like this was the mana took stuff like off because I didn't want to be so defensive with it. Actually, I, I kind of wanted to be a little bit offensive because it's really good at breaking a little bit of his defensive cores with the power punch. So we hit a power punch on whatever comes in, and then we basically have moves to hit everything except for the Rotom. But the, I don't think Rotom would be his first swap to this. Um, if it is, we can still power punch into a U-turn that still does good damage. Yeah, he might get a Volt Switch on us afterwards, but it is what it is. I feel like I can live with that because. The amount of damage we do with Power Punch plus U-Turn would be about like 35-40ish percent, so I'll take that every day of the week, I feel like. Any damage on Rotom is good, da is good damage. Next up, we have Isma, the Rose with Black Slush Technician, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, uh, Fire, Spikes, and Synthesis, 248 HP, 16 Special Attack, 180 Special Defense with 20 in Speed, so... Originally, I actually sped crept this to outspeed the Altaria, but um, we're not. I opted to swap out of Sludge Bomb on this thing. For hidden power fire because i would rather be able to hit the corvan and the vicar than the altaria i think we have decent mons for altaria which also i think is why i think it might not come because mega diancy um sabdos and jiraji can all hit it pretty decently with like a respective uh, moonblast hurricane and iron head so i feel like we can control the altaria to some extent if it's the cotton guard set that's a little bit annoying but the uh, diancy does here on the special side so that's pretty good and that's also why I was comfortable not having Sludge Bomb on this. And I think getting Spikes off for like Umbreon, Empolia, and Gengar, Dragon, like the grounded mons are really, really good. Um, I am a little bit annoyed that he has like four mons above the ground and Altaria before Mega Evolves also above the ground. But I still feel like Spikes are pretty good in this game. And last, we just have a physically defensive Yamuraiha, the Suicune Leftover Pressure, Skull, Toxic, Substitute, and Coal Mine, 248 HP, 228 in defense, and 32 in speed. So if you spread crib like... So we have enough speed to outspeed a non-invested or even a 20 invested Rotom Wash. Like, it's not a lot, but I need the bulk. Uh, 228 in defense makes it so we can take a close combat from a life orb track. And if he's choice banner, he's choice banner. But if you can see he's locked into choice banner and close combat. We could potentially go like Zapdos. Though, don't tell anyone this, but <laughs> Zapdos kind of gets too short by choice banner and close combat because it's not bulky. <sighs> but I, feel, I just feel like the offense of Zapdos is way too good in this game. So yeah. That's our team this week. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down. Leave a comment down below with thought of the team builder. I, I I I like going with these kind of aggressive styles. It's it's not what I would typically do, but it's been working for me lately, so I'm just gonna do it. And subscribe to the channel for future videos. I wanna head into the battle, so peace, YouTube. All right, what's good, YouTube? And gentlemen, time is here with our S not SDL, CDLA Week Six battle. We are going up against um what's it called, King Cable, coach of the. Portland Porygon, I believe it was. They brought the Terragian, the Mega Altari, the Gengar, the Empoleon, the Deoxys, and the Vigables. So no Rotom and no Corviknight. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I guess I guess I can kind of... I, I, I don't know. I feel like... I just feel like Corv, Corv slash Rotom was better than Empoleon. But I guess... I guess maybe not. So I kind of want to lead Sapdos. Main issue is if they lead Deoxys and it's like life or boosted Deoxys. If we don't take the hit. It's the issue. But we lead so well against like everything else. Uh, I guess we don't lead against the Terragian either, but you know. I don't think he's leading Terragian if I'm being honest. I'm still I'm gonna do it. Elite. Perfect lead. Um Empoleon versus Sabdos Vol Switch. He does 74 to 88 if he decides to stay in. I think he's going like what Vicavolt. So if I Vol Switch and I go. I mean I can I can kind of uh, estimate what he is but also just you know hurricane this is his only hurricane switch to be fair um um like i'm gonna vol switch i'm just trying to figure out what the hell i would do afterward right because even if he stays in i can go rose raid that's fine um i'm just trying to figure out what's my best course of action after that I could have killed this thing immediately. I could have killed it so fast. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, I'm going, I'm going, Rosella, uh, Rose Raid. If he clicks Ice Beam, he clicks Ice So he knocks off. That's fine. I, I, I'll take that every day. 
Okay, so he's left of us. Um, do we kill him? Actually, uh, we might not. Because what we did... How much did we do with Sapdos? He did 72, yeah, so he has, he has a good amount, good amount of speed of this, which... Damn, I, with what he brought, I'm so annoyed I didn't bring Sweep at the The Sweep at the would have... I would have loved this matchup. Holy, would have loved this match. Yeah, no, uh, he has like basically max speed for us to do 72. So I actually think he's pretty good against Rose. Yeah, we don't do that much, which is annoying. Um, okay, do I read the Vigavolt coming in or do I read Alt like Altaire? Well, Alt Altaire would never swap in on us, I, I don't think, because it he doesn't know we don't have a poison move, right? right? But I'm also thinking, like, do I read the Vigable coming in? I want to. Like, he's either clicking... So the thing is, he's either clicking, like, rocks to try and get emergency rocks up, which would be a little bit annoying, right? Or he's clicking, like, um, Ice Beam. But I feel like if he had Ice Beam, he probably would have clicked that on the Sapdos, potentially. I want to go Diancy and read the Vigavolt, right? Uh, unfortunately... See, that's the thing. We don't have Diamond Storms. We don't one-shot the Vigable. That's really, really bad. Actually, if he does go Vigable, is that that bad? I just I just realized we have a Hidden Power Fire for the Vigable specifically. Vigable. Against our Rosa Raid. Yeah, we do Yeah, we do so much damage to that thing. Oleon. I want a Giga Drain, like bad, because it gives me a little bit of... Yeah, I'm just going to Giga Drain. He go wow, he... He is just saying... Okay. That's insane. So, I don't think he's gonna Mega Evolve, because I don't see him thinking we don't have, uh... I feel like if he thinks we don't have Sludge Bomb already, that's insane to me. If he thinks that. I couldn't, I would never be able to, like, that would blow my mind if that's your thought process. Like, ah, he's not gonna bring Sludge Bomb. I feel like that was so weird. I was like, why? Like, I, I'm saying he's not gonna Mega or he's gonna, like, pivot out immediately. I'm gonna go Jirachi. I mean, he, ugh, the thing is, he could fire a fire move or a, um, or like a uh, earthquake. If he does earthquake, I don't want to go Diancy as the issue. But I guess we do take take the earthquake decently, don't we? Especially if he, if he doesn't Mega Evil. I actually, ooh, earthquake does a lot to Diancy. Okay, that was a good guess on his part, I suppose, but I feel like that was weird. I guess he guessed we have Hidden Power 5 for Vigil. That's... An, that's an odd exchange of turn there. Uh, I'm gonna go Jirai. Uh, I think it spikes up as well. Cause, like, realistically, what is this? Like, I don't think it kills me. Um, Altaria, Mega. If it's D Dance and he EQ. Well, if he starts D Dancing now, am I just dead? Might be because I'm not bulky stuff because he knows I'm spec. If he starts D. I, I, I don't. I just don't see why you would swap into this on Rose. It's such a risk. I'm gonna Jirachi. I am just gonna go. I'm just gonna go Jirachi. If he goes to, what, what would be like the worst thing here? We have the Kasip Berry for Gengar, so I probably wouldn't swap on the Gengar. So uh, I, I don't believe. We, yeah, we don't kill an Iron Head. We do a lot of damage. Might take that. He goes back to Napoleon. Does Jirachi kill a Max Spadef Napoleon? He might get another goddamn. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like max speed. It's annoying. I can try and hide his flinch him, but I don't think it's worth it. He's gonna knock me off. Um, he's gonna knock off the zip barrier. That's really annoying. Because he's. I am pretty confident he's gonna knock off here. Um, I could go Diancy. Because knock off doesn't do a whole lot. I don't think he clicks scald. If he clicks scald and gets the burn, that's bad. I went to Rose Wade last time. I'm gonna power. He gets up the rocks. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. Now we're plus one. I think we kill him now at this range. Yeah, we 100% kill him with the uh, power punch. So I can power punch again. I can fire punch should do it. Fire punch is also neutral and everything. That, well, except for the Altaria, but I'll take the Altaria coming in. So I'm going to fire punch. We just killed this. <sighs> I'm so... He is just not believing I'm sweep at Diancy. That's insane. I don't, I don't really understand. If I was Diancy right now, like a sweeper Diancy, and I went in and I clicked Rock Polish, I'm pretty sure a little bit of like chip and I win. <laughs> it's the thing. Now, if he goes Gengar, if he goes, actually, I, I might get another kill actually, because 
If he goes Gengar, I can stay in. I have to Kassip Berry. He didn't knock me off, which is perfect. With plus one now, so Iron Head does s s fuck chunk to that uh, Gengar. Like, it, it, it almost guaranteed kills. With Rocks, it would guarantee kill, but it doesn't. It's like a 68% um, chance if he's like no P HP investment, which depending, he, he could have like ignored my Diancy and just go, gone for Zatos and have a little bit of uh, investment. Or he could have gone like to something else. Also, if he goes to Oxus, I also think I'm just staying in because I live a Shadow Ball. I don't think I died to knock. I will have to count that real quick, but I don't think I died to anything. And I can U turn and kill that thing. I'll take that every day. Like, this is a really good position right now. I'm also really happy I went with Kassip over, um, over Leftovers because if, if I was Leftovers, I'm pretty sure he would just go straight Gengar. I think he would go straight Gengar. Well, actually, no, Gengar without, even without the Kassip, I don't. Yeah, it wouldn't kill me guaranteed, yeah. So I, I think we're in a really good posi uh, position right here. That's the very. Uh, if Dio uh, Deoxys, 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 however you want to pronounce it, comes in and it's max attack, uh, let's just say Adamant, just for the, for the lols. And he knocks, you know, we take that. He's, he goes Vicavolt. Okay. This might be... This might be, um, what's it called? Specs Vicavolt, potentially. That thing hurts on my team. We, I'm pretty sure we outspeed any variant of Vigavolt except it's Scarf. Maybe he's Scarf, that's, well, that's kind of cool, but... Yeah, if he's Scarf, he does outspeed us. I don't think he would be... If he's Specs, we take a hit. I'm getting the damage on this thing. This thing is really annoying for my team. This is max physically defensive, and it's Rocky Helmet. It was Sticky Whips. Fuck. Yeah, that's really bad. Our team is not friends with Sticky Whips whatsoever. It is not friends with Sticky Whips whatsoever. Okay, so this is Max Physical Defensive with Rocky Helmet nonetheless. Okay. And we even got a high roll there, which is really, really bad. Yeah, um, the webs being up, really bad for our team. Zapdos is the only one that's not... Actually, oh my god, Diancy is clear body before coming in. Yo, let's just pretend I did that on purpose. I'm pretty sure it only gets clear body, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm from Floyd. <laughs> Diancy won't lose speed, that's kind of cool. I really wish I was, uh, <laughs> was uh, sweet by Diancy. Th that would be so perfect in this scenario. I'm gonna fire punch again. Get the high roll. Ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> and he will switch out. Yeah. Okay, he can bring in the Gengar now. Now it guarantee kills us with a Shadow Ball. I <laughs> it's a small roll. <laughs> if he goes to Gengar. If he goes to Oxus, do I just stay in? I, I got Empoleon. I have Vigable on 1 HP. Like, this is not a bad game for us so far. It really isn't. Like, it, it can still end up bad because the webs might screw us up a lot. Like, we have we have Hazard on our side and we we have Hazard on our side. We haven't put anything on our opponents. Okay, question here. Do I take this roll? I think I do, right? I feel like I take this roll all day, every day. Like, I, I just hope I can live. It's a 62% chance to kill. Yeah, because with webs and all that. Yeah, no, I'm just iron hitting. He sucks too. He thought I was gonna switch. Um, I'm with that. Also means we kill him now. Um, if he's live, or we just so he's not black sword. So if he's live, or we just straight up die. There's no no discussion there. But I'm not letting this get behind a sub. Yeah, I'm just I'm just that. Live 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 live. Ah damn. Damn. <laughs> um, how does Sabdos take a? So this it's not a live orb either. Um, is it spell tag? It's called. We do take a um, rocks on. Fortunately, ops. We take twenty-five. We take a shadow ball. Um, I think it's is it icy wind it gets. Yeah, so we take that as well. So we can fire off a mean ass vol switch. This vol switch kills this. It does a butt ton to the entire. Yeah, I think that's the game plan right now. So we take a hit here. He's probably sacks the vega vol. This my that will. That's what I think he's gonna do. The vol switch. He can, he can also get off like a massive hit here. Um, he could be modest maybe, but I don't think... Yeah, so he's second up the Vigable. Like, that's definitely also 100% what he should do. Uh, I guess I could have locked... I uh, know, if I locked myself in Thunderbolt, he would have just... Um, what's it called? Gone to uh, Dragon at that point. Yeah, we don't have boots on anything, so it's like whatever I send in is going to be slow. I can go Suicune because he doesn't have anything that deals with Suicune immediately. If he goes Gengar, it might be to try and get damage on it. Uh, so much. Oh my god. 
I don't want to go to Rosary because I don't want the Altaria in. I can go Pheromosa. Does Pheromosa have the minus hit? The problem right now is he has the switch initiatives. I should actually probably click Thunderbolt. Because I have the minus one, Pheromosa does still outspeed the all Altaria. So he would have to go like Terrakion. He would have to go Deoxys, which he's probably going to go Deoxys, honestly. Let's make it an I guess Mega Diancy is like the best answer right now because it it would only allow the Deoxys. Does Deoxys get a steal? I feel like that thing definitely gets a steal move. It gets, why does the thing get Meteor Mash? What? I mean, it also gets Flash Cannons. It can be both ways, right? Um, who do I want in the most? Like, what's the what's the mana can deal with the best? Man, I wish I was. Um, I wish I was Rock Polish Diancy right now. I'm gonna go with Fermos, I think. I wish it was heavy duty boots, but I'm just not. If I was boots right now, that would be perfect. Damn, I kinda am annoyed that I didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw something. Um, I'm kinda annoyed that I, like I didn't notice the sticky webs on Slava like five minutes before the like, I didn't think about sticky webs at all and it's like yo I didn't bring removal I had decent removal on the team well I have Dawn Van and Zapdos and like Zapdos was good in this game but offensively so I probably wouldn't bring Defog so I would have to bring like Dawn Fan um spin which it's not bad here like it, it can take a hit from like Terrakion it can take a hit from like like a lot of his defensive mods that are not called Rotom, I guess, and even Polion to some extent. Yeah, no, he goes down. The question here is, do I, who do I give up? I, I basically give up a mon right here. And if he says up a nasty plot, I think I'm just, I just lost. Actually, I might lose. I actually I might just straight up lose to the thing. Just realized. I might just straight up lose to the thing, because do I even have anything to like? How much does Sweet can do to the ducks? It's just, just straight up. Can yeah, we take it? We do not. Why? Hmm. Sabdos. Yeah, Sabdos doesn't live after rocks. I think he had. He probably has. A, I definitely feel like he has a steel move. I want to click U-turn just so he can't set up on us. And also this, like, it gets outspeed by three of his mon and only outspeeds the Altaria, which we have Diancy for. Yeah, I'm clicking U-turn. I'm not. Yeah, so he clicks Psychic. I, 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 I just had. To, I had to give up a mon at that point. Yeah, so he is life old. I, I figured he would be. Like, why am I facing all these fucking monsters? Like, I faced the two Darkses, like, in a row. It's so... St <sighs> so annoying. Like, don't get me wrong, I knew I was gonna die there. Like, 100% I knew I was gonna die. Wow, Psychic has a chance to kill Diane. You are kidding. He, he definitely has Flash Cannon as well. Probably has, like, Thunderbolt. I think I'm just... I think I might just lose it. Yeah, I, I, it took me too long to like realize he, he might bring webs. I should definitely have had removal. Um, I mean, I go Suicune. Rocks are annoying, right? I go Suicune. I... Yeah, what do, what do I do? Scald, I guess. I suppose. It probably takes Thunderbolt. Like, the thing is, I don't even come close to killing with a Scald here. I still think he just... I have to get a burn and just hope I can like swap around or something. Oh, he has to n actually no. He two shots with psychic. Never mind then. I mean, I'm just. This is really bad, right? Should I have brought? I should have brought extreme speed on my. Uh, I just realized I should have brought extreme speed on my. Um, <laughs> on my Zuikun just for this moment, so I could like. So let's say instead of bold, I was like relaxed. I can uh, scold into E speed probably. Actually, with the life orb, we might do it. That would be fun. That would be kind of funny. Kind of funny. I mean, you kind of just stay in, I think. I don't see a reason why you wouldn't. Like, this thing, I think it wins from here. Like, I don't think I have anything I can do. And Scald, hope for the crit. Get a burn. Oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Okay, that means it dies if it attacks again, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna Toxic in case he wants to go Altari, I think. So you Uh, I guess it comes down to what his Tragion maybe is. I, 
I don't have speed investment for this, but I'm toxicing. Like, if he attacks me, that's like best case scenario, right? But I, ha I just have to. Um, be toxic, I think. He is so. No! Of course you. Of course you are. Of course you are. It's probably sub D dance. Which means if I bring in Sabdos, he's just gonna kill me. EQ, I think plus one straight up. Yeah, plus one just kills Diancy. Yeah, I think this is GG. I should, I should have had Ice Beam. I should have I, I should have had Ice Beam, so this couldn't happen. Basically, is what I'm saying. I should have had Ice Beam, so this wouldn't be allowed. Basically, because I, I I think I lose here, yeah, just straight up. I don't know if you just read it. I, I don't understand. Like, the early Altaya swapping I still don't quite get, but, you know, it's fair. I, I guess he just... I guess he, what he did is he just predicted the Giga Drain and then swapped afterwards. But I still feel like it was a weird. Um, Yeah, no, plus one... Yeah, yeah, no, he sweeps me from here. I, I have nothing I can do. Yeah, AD dance. I'm gonna sub my. I should have done this on that turn, like 100% of the time. Um. So, so he's basically forced to attack me, but I don't break the sub. Is the issue. Don't break. So he can either choose to just keep d dancing. Actually, do I play? Do I play on him being? I think I play on him being greedy. I'm trying to go plus one here. Plus plus one skull break it doesn't even. I mean, I, I play on. I think I play on him. It's like it doesn't matter. I, I don't break the sub anyway. I know he just returns. Yeah, that, that's the smarter play, definitely. Like, that's definitely the smarter play. It went. Oh wait, the, the Dox is not my left. Is he okay? See, DDs. Yeah, so he gets the plus two guarantee. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I, I there's nothing I can really have done here towards the end. I think, um, because even plus one, this thing just wins. I had to play on him. Yeah, I mean, I just... He's plus two, there's nothing I can do, really. Damn, that's annoying. Ah, uh, it's annoying because, like, the Vigor Vault exactly, like, lived. Which is, it lived on one HP and got the fucking webs up. It's so annoying. Oh, did it get web... No, no, it got the webs up... Wait, I can't... No, 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 it got the webs up and then Vault Switch. Never mind, it got the webs up freely. Like, n never mind, I'm just being... I just, I just couldn't remember him. Um, I should. I mean, I should probably just click. You know, you'll get the static. <gasps> Let's just say that. Let's just say that's the reason I went into this, right? Let's just say that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Is the issue? If I had, fuck. If I had fucking sludge bomb on. Actually, it's still out to be reverse raid. I have to go to INC as the issue. I mean, I don't take a speed drop, which is, I guess, is fine. Um, but Diancy just dies because he has to, he has 100% earthquake. So DD return earthquake like 100% of the time. GG. Yeah, I I don't know. I didn't really see the Altaria that much of a threat, which is like you know that's on me. That threat. I don't know. I just felt, I felt personally like I had way too many mons that could do, deal with the Altaria. I just didn't think it was going to do it. I was like, I have so many mons that hit that thing so hard. Like, Feromosa kill. You cannot, you cannot set up on Feromosa. You could, you can maybe set up on Sapdos, but even then, that's risky. You cannot set up on Dance. You cannot set up on Jirachi. You cannot set up on Rosary. You cannot set up on Dunfan. You can maybe set up on Miltang and you can set up on Sweet but I should, I should have just brought fucking. That's the issue. I should, I should have just brought. So I, I said in my builder that there wasn't really a move I could use. I should have just ran Ice Beam Suicune. Had I Ice Beam, I would have broken the sub always. He would have full. He would have basically been forced to um, to like hit me in rare, uh, like the real straight on, kill me. I go into Sapdos. As you can see, I did get the power. Like I know that's like risky, right? Like it's not guaranteed I get the power, but I got the power, meaning I can go into Diancy Dance out speeds and kills it. So actually, does Diancy does kill? Yeah, Diancy should. 
Especially if it's like a DD variant, he's probably not that bulky. Yeah, so it, I definitely, I definitely would. So yeah, it, it's big. It's DD to King Cable. Doesn't I can't really be that mad about the mad about this game. Like there wasn't even really much of any hacks. Like I got a burn that was good for me. I got the Paros. I can't say much. I just, I don't even think the prep was bad. I just think that he, yeah, yeah. I just, I just think he kind of got like away with them. Um, like he just had a very simple game plan, and for some, for some reason, I just I don't I just didn't think about it. It's because people don't bring webs Vicable that much anymore, so I just don't think about it. And then when the off person does it, it just catches me by surprise. I, sh I should have had more for it. I should have been heavy duty boots, Feromosa. I should have uh, done a lot. There was a lot of things I could have got done differently here. Like heavy duty boots, Feromosa would also probably have beaten the Deoxys, depending on if he has E speed or not. But, you know. It is what it is. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the battle. I know I, I, I made mistakes. It is what it is. And subscribe to the channel for future videos. I will now head out. Peace. See you too.